Hello, so we're going to be looking at the IV characteristics of a lamp or a filament bulb that we have over here. Now this one over here, if I just connect it into this power supply, the first thing I'm going to do is just check it actually works and this all works. So if I turn this on, we can see that as we increase the voltage, we get some light. So perfect, that's all working. Now the way we're going to uh, set the circuit up is we have an ammeter to measure the current going through that and we have a voltmeter to measure the potential difference across it. You can set this up with a battery pack and a variable resistor, but I'm going to be using the variable power supply here to actually vary the current and the voltage of this. We can then plot that on an IV graph. So we know it's working. The next thing I'm going to do is just connect up a very simple circuit with the ammeter, and this allows us to check again that the ammeter is working, all of the leads are working, and if I connect it in like so, and maybe just tuck these wires out of the way, uh, we can see that we do have a current that we can measure. And I'm just going to use this voltmeter here, making sure that I've turned it on. I'm going to connect this up. And with these leads over here, these are going to go in parallel. So I'm going to put one connection here and one connection over there. And again, if I just move that, we can see that we have readings for both of these. So now we're ready to take some data. Um, with this one here, I found that the maximum value I could go up to wasn't quite 12. So I'm going to use values of 12, 8, 6, 4, 2 and 0 volts, or kind of close to that. We can then obviously record the values in our table. Um, we can see how that affects the current. And then we can switch this around to have negative values as well. So uh, let's get ready to take some data. So with the power supply turned off, we've got zero volts and zero current. So that's one of the bits of data we need. I'm going to turn this on and adjust it to about two volts. There we go. And what I'm going to be doing is turning off the power supply in between readings and that stops this getting too hot. So now I've adjusted it slightly and we've now got a value of about four. I'm going to go up a bit more. We're going to get a value about six. So there's a value close to six volts. And again, turning off each time so that this doesn't get too hot. Um, and again, make sure that you don't touch the glass part because that will be hot by the end of the experiment. Uh, we're now going to go up to about 8 volts. So there's a value to take. And then finally up to about 10. Good, so we've got some data going up to about 10 volts. I'm now gonna turn this back down towards zero, and all I'm going to do is just take these connections out and switch them around. So what we can now find is that when we turn this on, we'll have negative values of current and potential difference. So again, just like we did before, um, I'm gonna to go to about two volts to take our first reading, which is about here. Then we're going to go up to 4, so a value close to 4, that should do it. I'm going to turn it back on, we'll get, we need a value near to 6. We're going to go up to 8. And finally, going to about 10. So now you should have some data, uh, and we can then plot a graph where we have the voltage or potential difference on the x-axis, and on the y-axis we have our current. And again, we're going to have both positive and negative values on this graph. We can then draw in our line of best fit. And then this then tells us about the IV characteristics of a filament lamp. 